just realizing he's getting blood all over the place and Deanna came with a couple band-aids and a little piece of gauze and he's feigning great pain. And she says if it hurts so much she'll kiss it and make it better. There she's going to kiss it but he wasn't going to go for that. And Judy's putting some movement into the picture. That was the little makeup case that got Shirley. Shirley is such a sweet girl. Welcome, Shirley. Indiana is showing her petticoats. Back then, they had to wear half a dozen uh, rustly taffeta petticoats under their clothes. And Judy is showing Jimmy. <clears throat> Didn't we have wonderful cooking? Christmas memories out at Dad and Mom's in Clarkston. And Dad had his parakeets trying to get him to kiss him, but they were not too affectionate. So I'm giving Dad a hug and kiss for Christmas. Dad never was very demonstrative when it came to his affection. Uh, he didn't kiss me back. Us. They never did. 
I don't believe I ever received a Christmas gift from my father in my life. And I was cuddling up to Orpha. She was not very demonstrative in her affection either. <laughs> Dad's calling Deanna to come and look at some pictures in the back of his Bible. The Bible is one thing my father knew. I mean, he knew it from back to front and every word of it. You could call Dad and ask him where a certain thing was in the Bible and uh, he could tell you in a second. was our dear old dog, Buster. Buster was never in the house. He was in the house one time when he had pneumonia. But he loved the outside. He was frightened to death when he took him inside. And he loved the snow. Come on, boy. Lovely dog he was. That was a beautifully landscaped place. It was on a little knoll, and the garage was underneath the house. And uh, it, it was a very pretty neighborhood, very quiet. And this was the house. for a tree to be planted about three feet deep and it snowed and the hole filled up with snow and Buster fell in the hole. He had an awful time getting out of there. I don't know who that other dog is, just some little neighborhood dog. Oh, that Buster was a, a lovely animal.